What's happening fellas and ladies? Uh, today we're starting the tandem mini bike build. We're going to take two Coleman CT200Us, cut them up, slap them together and make a school bus of a mini bike. But before the video starts, we want to invite you guys out to a meetup that we're having on September 8th in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Uh, most of the information is on screen as well as in the description below. But make sure you guys can come out. You have to pay $5 to get in because we do have to get a lawyer to write up a waiver because you guys are allowed to bring your mini box and your go-karts. Anything under 1,000 cc's can be brought to this property. Uh, one of our patrons is allowing us to use his property. He has a little track set up, so it's going to be a good time. You can pre-order merch and we'll have it available to pick up at the meetup as well as some used parts. Some of our projects will be there and they'll be for sale, some of them. But um, yeah, I know some people are going to gripe about the $5 waiver, but it's going to cost us over $300 to get a waiver written up by a lawyer so it's legal. So if someone gets hurt there, you know, you knew the risk before coming uh, and we can't get sued because of course that could ruin us. Someone could take all $55 in my bank account and I wouldn't be able to eat. Hope you guys can come. Uh, make sure to to let us know if you can come. We're trying to get you know figure out how many people might come because uh, you know we want to see if we need to get a food truck or something out there. But it's 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Come out, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. If you're a couple hours away, it's worth the drive down uh, because you'll get to meet us. You'll get to ride some of our projects and just have a blast. Uh, we hope we see you there. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Well, you've seen us do quite a bit of Coleman's on the channel. We've taken the CT200U and made it into a trike, which was semi-successful. We do not own that trike anymore. We sold it. Uh, we took the 18 horse off and sold it. Then we put a 110cc engine on one of these frames. We sold that engine. And now we're going to be taking this one and making a two-seater tandem mini bike. So we're going to be cutting the frame at the back. We're going to use the 110cc frame that we, you know, mount the 110 in. For parts because this is metric tubing so you know no standards gonna match up to it so we'll have a whole nother bike to cut apart and use for extra tubing to lengthen it so we first off we got to pull everything off we'll talk about the power plant and everything later we've done some really cool stuff on this bike uh, this is gonna be not for off-road this is like the perfect little camping bike you're gonna be able to take it around your campsite or just take it on like a, a cruising ride and camp off of this bike you'll see let's start taking it apart engine needs to come off first. There we go. That literally took 10 minutes. We're so used to it now. Yeah, we got like an assembly line on Coleman go karts or mini bikes going on in here. actually sleeved from the factory which I figured they should be but you know you never know till you do it So we're going to cut this back section off there and there so we can keep as much straight steel as possible and then we'll just use this part of the frame for extra 
you know, tubing if we need it. I mean, if you cut this here and here, it's a straight piece. Yeah, yeah. that's what we'll have to do is cut this off and then we'll cut this here and there. And we're gonna have to gusset the front, this neck tube. I've seen people break them right in here if they hit something hard, which this will be an on-road only cruiser. So we ain't gonna have to worry about well, that. Well, trails. Yeah, but not no, like jumping. Campground <laughs> ride. Yeah. Not mountain ride. Don't forget guys, meet up September 8th, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Be there. Sound aggressive. <laughs> well, if they ain't there, then it's a waste of time. <laughs> we just show up and it's just us and the guy who's letting us use his field. There's our back section that we're going to use. I'm going to cut this battery box out and this exhaust hanger and this bar, but we can start scrapping this part out. Twenty two basically. Oh so the forks are the same size as the frame. That means we have a lot of extra material. So sweet. Now I'm gonna cut this because the back rider will have a set of handlebars to hold on to. thinking is since the handlebars are that height look let's say this is where the back seat starts we'll weld that right on just like that should be perfect can you dream of it can you dream son can you dream uh i have a dream tears this flat bar off as close as this grind it smooth and that's a whole length of tube we can use and we'll do the same thing to those forks you know what I mean that's some good quality tube right there how do you have so many forks well this one's off the the mini bike that we built into a truck this set is this oh. just came off the 110 set so they're going to take apart the forks off the 110 bike because uh this is well, this is what's left over of the forks off of the the truck that we built with 18 horse and this is the same size tubing as what the frame used in it's some really thick stuff so this will be perfect to make our extensions on the frame we'll have to do some bracing to make sure this thing's strong but we'll get it done oh yes So this is a metric tubing. So uh, the inside diameter, we've actually not even checked it, but nothing we're gonna have is gonna fit in it. So this is, I think five eighths, maybe, I don't know, three quarter inch rod stock. And it'll fit in there, but it's a little bit floppy. So to keep it from, you know, being angled down, I've drilled these plug weld holes and a small metric uh, bolt will actually thread in there. So now I can slide this and that's going to hold that from, from moving on me. Oh boy. I think I stripped it, but <laughs> that's what it's supposed to do. It'll hold it. Now I can plug weld this on each side and um, I probably should wait until we get it butted up to the back. We're going to have to add on the top section of the back that we've cut, we've got to add 26 inches of tubing. And the bottom we haven't measured because the bottom's a little longer. And we'll be putting cross braces everywhere. Up top, down bottom, side to side, front to back. It'll just be 
gussets will be. They already know. <laughs> gussets will that be. That whole everywhere. gusset stack will be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Just stacking them like this. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now we can get to cutting this up, hammering it down on there. I've already plug welded these in. These uh these sleeves, so we'll have a nice solid rod sleeve, and then we'll of course every so many inches we'll bevel a piece of tube and sit inside there and weld all the way around because i want this thing to be strong do not need to drill holes in that one before you hammer it on there probably should mm -hmm. you like it a good idea mark yes you do <laughs> the latest competition in the world We've put a piece in about that long. You can see where I plug welded it uh, inside this tube. So now I can plug weld this. It hammered into this. It fit loosely inside this tubing. So now I can weld that, weld the plugs, and then we can, we have one piece put in. We can put another one in, another sleeve, and then plug weld this as well. But we're gonna wait to weld that, of course, until we butt it up to the bike. And we gotta do the bottom lower bars as well, lower extensions after this. So let me get this plug welded and we'll continue on. So I've got all the, uh, the extensions welded in. We're gonna do some grinding on some welds just to make everything, because we're gonna clamp both frames together with some angle iron, but moment of truth. So, that one's lined up. Get this one in, get this one in. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. And it'll set just about like that. Oh yeah. So the seats will set like this right here. And this one, actually this will bolt right up. This one will bolt up in the back. We just gotta put a piece of flat stock in the front for the front to bolt to. And then this sissy bar is a Go Power Sport steering wheel hoop that you weld in a go-kart. We're gonna notch it and put it right there for a backrest. I think that'll look pretty cool. And then we took a pair of Coleman handlebars, cut them flush. We're going to weld this on right there for the back rider to have something to hold on to. And then we'll put a piece of uh, tubing across the frame, just like the front for the foot peg. So we need to get this thing welded, make every, everything's you know flat with each, each other. Good gosh. And I don't know where we're going to mount the battery. We just went and got some goodies from Walmart. You'll see that in just a second uh, to dress this thing out. So it's going to be pretty sweet. So now I'm going to clamp this and get her welded. Now we got her clamped down on the amazing uh, weld table and I'm gonna go ahead and tack it up I'm gonna put a level on this top frame I know the bottom frames good I can actually go ahead and weld it in just want to make sure everything's level as it can be and we got our welder grounded to the um, underside of the table this is gonna be a pickle here sure to check out these Sigmund tables from Quantum. Oh man, it's, this stuff would be impossible without them. this to hammer in so we will have a you know a brace right at this welded part I still haven't welded all the way up under either of these but we we'll go ahead and get these cut we can hammer them in and then finish welding everything out we're also going to do this right back here should be a really snug fit and work out great all 
All right, so we got the frame braced where we welded the two pieces together. Now, I'm gonna do a lot of bracing. I might even do another one in here, who knows. But we will be bracing the top part of the frame down to this bottom with probably just a slant piece, but we need to get our engine set in. You know, put our back tire on, get our engine set in, to find out where side to side, front to back it needs to be. We want it as closest to the back tire as possible. And then we can put a, uh, you know, e either a straight, slanted, you know, something for style. We might do a 45 bend and do like a, you know, like a point looking thing. Yeah, so I'm going to have to flip this frame, weld the underside of this, that, and, you know, around this tubing. And she's come together. She's really close. Really close. I like it. Stand works and everything though. I mean, it all works great. <laughs> Boom. It's solid, baby. So now we got a back rest. Woohoo! You find that headrest? Uh, Not one over there? Man, boom, diesel. The seats from Go Power Sports have threads here, here, and here. We need it here. I pulled the threads that was out of these, which are called T nuts. A T nut looks like that. So basically, it goes in from the inside, and these teeth bite into the wood to keep it from spinning, give you metal threads in wood. Well, I went ahead and pulled both these out, and I thought it went in this top one, but it was supposed to go there. So now, I've got to unstaple this, I just restaple and uh, put a T-nut in that lower hole. No big deal. I'm gonna freaking fix it. You just got staple happy last time, right? I put them the same way they had them. All right, guys, so we got the bike frame about 75% done. Now we, uh, in the next video, we'll mount the engine, get our bracing done, and start adding on the accessories. You'll get to see us go to Walmart, and uh royal king and start shopping for the accessories i think you guys are going to like this bike we got a lot of stuff done to it uh after the video that you just watched so uh definitely stay tuned for the next video of the tandem mini bike we're going to take this thing out on its maiden voyage uh maybe on the next video don't know how long this whole series is going to run but it should be a pretty short one um yeah thank you guys for watching uh make sure to check out all of our uh, sponsors in the description of the video all the links of any parts we use on this mini bike will be down there uh and the sigmund weld table that thing came in handy uh it's just changing the, the game i tell you we was able to clamp that mini bike the two frames together and on a dead level surface i'm telling you that's such a game changer for us uh no longer guessing if something's level so uh, make sure to stay tuned for next Mini Bike Monday, and uh, thank you guys for watching. God bless, and uh, come back to Redbeard's Garage. Redbeard's Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. GoPowerSports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini bike parts, and when making your purchase, use the Redbeard discount code in the upper right-hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal. Hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode and go check us out on facebook instagram snapchat and pinterest to stay up to date with the channel guys always come back to redbeard's garage i'm out <laughs>